Hi. Now what we've got here is a question on solving a differential equation. We've got to show that theta equals a constant a e to the power minus 0.008 t plus 3, where a is this constant. So if you would like to try this and you haven't done so already, I'll give you time to pause the video and when you come back you can either fast forward to the answer at the end or you can see my detailed working. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just check that we've understood the question first of all. We've got this bottle of water, it's put into a refrigerator and we're told that the temperature inside the refrigerator remains constant at 3 degrees C and t minutes after the bottle is placed in the refrigerator the temperature of the water in the bottle is theta degrees C. The rate of change of the temperature of the water in the bottle is modelled by the differential equation here. d theta by dt equals 3 minus theta all over 125. And we've got to solve this differential equation and show that theta equals ae to the power minus 0 0.008t plus 3 where a is a constant. Now what I'd want to do first of all is, then is just to copy down the differential equation that we're given. d theta by dt then equals 3 minus theta divided by 125. And to do something like this, what we do is we separate the variables. We put all the thetas on one side of the equals and all the t's on the other side. Now, I'd divide both sides by 3 minus theta, and that would leave me with 1 over 125 on the right-hand side. So what I'd therefore have is 1 over 3 minus theta, and I'm going to remove the dt as well, so I'll be left with d theta equals 1 over 125 dt. So I've separated the variables, all thetas then on one side, all t's on the other side. I could multiply through by 125, put it up here, but I've just decided to leave it where it is. Okay, that's up to you. We now integrate both sides. So we'll put an integral sign there, and I can put an integral sign here or in between the 125 and dt, okay, because this is a constant. I'm going to put it in there, okay? Now you should be familiar with this integral here. This is one where when you have got a function, in this case theta in the denominator, and you differentiate it, and if you've got a constant multiplied by this differential here in the numerator, it's a natural log time. And I notice that if I differentiate this, I get negative one, which is a constant, so I can do an adjustment factor on this and I see that this is minus the natural log of the mod of 3 minus theta. Okay, And then if we integrate 1 over 125 with respect to t here, we're just going to get t over 125. And then we mustn't forget the constant of integration, which you can either put plus c here, or you could put plus c here. It doesn't matter, where, where, whatever side you want to put it on. I'm going to put plus c here. Now, what I need to do next is to get rid of this negative sign. don't like it in front of this natural log here. So I'm going to multiply both sides through by negative 1. So we're going to get the natural log then of the mod of 3 minus theta equals minus t over 125 minus the constant of integration. I can now remove the natural log here by anti-logging both sides and I therefore have 3 minus theta equals e to the power minus t over 125 minus c. And this is exactly the same as 3 minus theta equals e to the power minus t over 125 
multiplied by e to the power minus c. Remember, you would add your indices here when you're multiplying. And that would give me this result up here. Now I can see that I'm getting very close to the answer that we've got to show here. So it just needs a bit of rearranging. So what I'm going to do is add theta to both sides and I'm going to subtract this term from both sides. So if I do that, I'm going to end up with theta equaling the negative of this, negative, and I'm going to write e to the minus c first of all, e to the minus c, and then I'm going to have e to the power minus t over 125, and then plus 3. All right? Now, if I let a, another constant, equal minus e to the minus c, minus e to the minus c, I can do that because e is a constant, c is a constant, so I'm just going to get a constant here. So I therefore have theta equals a multiplied by e to the power minus t over 125. Now, minus 1 over 125 is exactly the same in decimal form as minus 0.008, okay? And then we've got the t, and then we've got the plus 3. So, there you have it, all right?